Hi everyone and welcome along. Well, the day has finally arrived. Launch day for my brand new book, A Year of Watercolour. So today it's launching in the UK and Europe with America and other countries around the world to follow very soon. So I'm just, I can't believe it's, it's finally here and you're all going to see it. But I thought, why don't we celebrate today by having a go at one of the projects? And I thought we would start with the very first project in the book, looking at how to paint some beautiful bird's eggs. Now, the other very exciting thing to tell you is tomorrow, where we normally have the quick fix on Friday, I'm going to be doing my very first YouTube live and I'm going to be live on YouTube at 5.30pm BST to talk to you all about the book, some of the stories uh, of the making of it and answer any of your questions that you might have. So put that in your diaries, make sure you don't miss it. 5.30 p.m. BST, that's British summer time, so check that out on the time zones if you're not quite sure where that stands in your clock. So anyway, don't forget, like, comment and subscribe and grab your paints and let's get started. So here it is, let's look inside. So the first Whoops, the first section is early spring. And I thought, well, we're starting this book afresh today. It may not be early spring, but we can dream. Um, we're going to try painting some lovely bird's eggs because they're such a lovely introduction to watercolor. They're pretty addictive to paint and there are loads of different versions. So here is the bird's nest and eggs tutorial. Now, obviously there's no bird's nest right there, but if you look over the page, you get that tutorial right there. Look, there's the original. But that is for you to enjoy once you get the book yourself. Today, we're just gonna have a lovely little go at some really simple egg paintings because this is the kind of thing that you could do with all the family. It's a really fun little uh, repetitive and adaptable tutorial. So for a beginning, we're gonna just try a basic egg. So we need some Payne's Grey, Burnt Sienna and Cobalt Turquoise. So we need a size two brush and a size zero brush and we're gonna do make a diluted mix of Cobalt Turquoise and Payne's Grey. So in the book, I first give you a chance at having a go at a, just a sort of generic bird's egg, trying out the different techniques. And I find, well I found when I was writing the book, it's much easier to just paint an egg shape rather than try and draw it first. Um, they're tricky things, egg shapes, and so yeah. There's little things, that you'll find little sort of discoveries I made along the way of my process. So, the good news is when you're painting a nice dilute shape like this, you can sort of play around with it a little bit until you get it the shape you want. And then we're gonna clean the brush off and start to fill it in, working so fairly fast and uh, Getting the brush completely clean now, just sort of working in so you, you get that slightly lighter middle. So, whilst the um, egg is still just that little bit damp, we can achieve a sort of muted speckle on it. So what we can do is create a little bit of shadow mix with Burnt Sienna and Payne's Grey. It's my absolute go-to classic shadow mix every time. And what I'm gonna do with my size zero brush is I'm going to paint, whilst it's just still a little bit wet, you do a little bit more, there we go. You can paint a few speckles on this egg and just sort of watch them bleed. And just fade and look very much like rather a number of different eggs so in the book I'll show you in a second we've got loads of other um, like real egg examples um, but this first practice is just to get you used to getting these lovely simple speckles so effectively done okay so we're going to let that dry 100% and then we're going to try uh, one last layer 
on the dry egg with a little bit of more defined speckle. So now our egg is dry, we can have a go at some more defined speckles. So using the same uh, shadow mix, but now with a four tenths brush, you can try and add in a few more speckles. And these ones aren't going to be bleeding in and disappearing. These ones are going to be a bit more defined because we find that in nature different speckles identify different species of bird's egg. For example, the ones in the nest project are robin's eggs, but I thought we'd have a go at a few different ones featured in the book. So let me just grab the book back here. So you can see here we've got some different styles. The starling egg, these perfect little sort of almost star-like dots. The pheasant egg is just slightly, slightly squatter, slightly rounder and uh, very shiny and very smooth. And then this one's even got a little bit of alizar and crimson in. So let's have a go at some of these. Let's start with the starling egg. So the book says, the book says, I say it as if someone else has wrote it. I say in the book, a mix of Prussian blue and cobalt turquoise. So here's my Prussian blue. I don't use Prussian blue nearly as much as I used to. It's a good color though. And then mix that together and you get a lovely blue tone. Remember, it's always about diluting it down though. So let's see if I can get my egg shape again, my size two brush. Not bad, not bad. You can always just sort of smooth it out, even it out, change the shape entirely if you need by working fairly swiftly to make sure that you don't get a, a clean line. Okay, so there's our starling egg. Now the starling needs to be completely dry before we do the Mars black dot. So we'll do another one whilst we wait and we'll do the chaffinch. So the chaffinch egg, a diluted mix of cobalt turquoise and Payne's grey and burnt sienna. So we had our mix of cobalt, turquoise and Payne's grey. We need to add in some burnt sienna. Just knocks it back a bit, doesn't it? it makes it almost sort of murkily green. And we'll get that one in there. The other focus in this book is about getting outside to paint and that's why we try and limit the number of colours we're using all the time and, and focus more on mixing. So you'll be happy to know that we focus on that in the book. Okay, so this egg has a wet on wet. We're going to do Alizar and Crimson and you will see all of this in the book when you get your hands on it. So I've got some wet alizar and crimson. How crazy that that's the colour on the egg. Lovely. So that one has got to just dry in a little bit and we're going to make a concentrated mix of alizar and crimson and burnt sienna for the darker speckles on it. So. There we go, we've got that ready to go. So we'll just let the starling dry and then we're good to go. Our eggs are dry and ready for the last stage. So for the starling, we need fine dots of Mars Black with the four tenths brush. So in I come. You know, one of the things I found the hardest was being random with my dots. Um, I'm still finding it hard to be random with them. Um, and I must show you because I've actually just painted a starling bird with my patrons and I just really wanted to show you it. So here you go. 
this is what we've been painting in Patreon. This was a really exciting use of um, masking fluid to get these amazing uh, marks on the starling. So anyway, how nice would it be to draw the bird and the egg? That's part of the new Patreon uh, project that we're working on. So if you want to come and join us over there and get loads more tutorials, then uh, just find the link in the episode notes below. Anyway, back to back to the book. Last little one is the chaffinch egg. I'm just going to add speckles over the top. And there you have a really lovely, simple starter project from my new book, A Year of Watercolour. Um, you can get your copy now in the UK and Europe and America and the other countries in the world are just around the corner. So I hope that for now, at least, you can be satisfied with this little sneak peek. But don't forget, I am doing a live tomorrow, Friday, the uh, oh, 1st of September. I was like, what day is it? Friday 1st of September, 5.30 p.m. BST. Come and join me, come and see loads more of the book and ask me questions, any questions you've got um, about you know, how difficult it is, is it perfect for beginners, what kind of materials do you need, uh, if you want to ask me stories about or questions about stories of how we came to write the book, what Crumble made of it all, because he features in the book quite a lot. Um, come and join us and we'll have a great time. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that little introduction to what is in this new book, A Year of Watercolour, out today. And I want to say a huge thank you to my patrons. I want to say it on here, but also I say it in the back of the book. So the patrons are acknowledged in the book because they've been such an amazing support. Their support enables us to keep creating videos like these that everyone can enjoy. And if you enjoyed it, then hit the like button and comment below to let me know how you got on with that one. And of course, if you subscribe and hit the notification bell, well, you'll never miss another video. So enjoy the book if you've got one coming today. And of course, it's not far behind in the other countries. So we will see you again next time. Thank you so much. Bye.